Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of What's Your Game Plan? Is starting a gift basket business something you've always dreamed of? Well, it's a good thing that you found this channel. I'm here to help you take the leap and start your own business. Gift basket businesses are on the rise and I've seen tremendous growth in the past few years. Last year alone, the industry grows $62 billion and that's expected to double in the next 10 years, which means there's an opportunity for you to make a lot of money. If you wanna make a difference in someone's life and make some money doing it, here's how to get started. ever given you a very unique or special gift? How'd that make you feel? I'm sure that it came as a total surprise and you can relate. Interestingly enough, the number one reason why entrepreneurs start gift basket businesses is because they're determined to make a difference in somebody's life by simply creating something heartfelt and something special for each recipient. People love gifts and I'm confident that your company could be providing these gift basket services. Take a look at this. I went to Google and I found that gift baskets are actually trending in these states. Do you live in any of these places? If so, people in these states are searching and they're in desperate need of a gift basket provider. The first step in starting a gift basket company is to get a business plan. When most entrepreneurs start, they're pretty unclear about what their strategy is going to be. And the really interesting thing is, people who have business plans are 15 times more likely to succeed. If you have no idea how a gift basket business works or your first time business owner, I recommend getting a business plan from Fiverr. What they'll do is create a custom business plan that outlines exactly how your business is supposed to work and what you should expect. After you get the business plan, you'll need to register your business. You'll need a federal EIN number and you'll need to form an LLC or corporation. You can do this by registering directly with your Secretary of State, which might take a little bit longer, or you can use a company like MyCorp who will do it all for you. And they can even do the research for your business licenses in under a week. After they give you the EIN number and the legal incorporation paperwork, you'll want to find out how much the gift basket supplies are going to cost you. I recommend looking for the best deal. So I'll let you in on a little secret. In order to get your equipment and your supplies at a discount, you're going to need what we call a retail merchant certificate or sales tax ID. This is issued directly by your secretary of state and it's going to allow you to buy the products at a bulk discount and save on taxes. After you get this certificate, just go to Google and type in wholesale gift basket supplies. And now you'll see a list of companies that you're qualified to buy from. But keep in mind, they're going to ask you for a copy of that retail merchant certificate. So be sure to keep that in handy. Do you remember that old saying, location, location, location? When, when you finish doing research on your supplies, go ahead and start looking for a warehouse or an office space so you can build your baskets in and store all the supplies. In my opinion, these are the websites that have the hidden gems. Check out LoopNet and Property Shark. These are the two best search engines for commercial office space or warehouse space for rent, to buy, or to lease. Next, you'll want to turn in a copy of your legal incorporation paperwork and your EIN number to the bank. And what they'll do is give you a business bank account with lots of benefits, including access to credit lines, budgeting features, and easy tax prep for the future. You can use a local bank that you're already using, or you can choose a new one. And if you haven't heard of Square, they also have a business banking department who can get you set up right away with a checking account. And it's free. Have you ever noticed how many small businesses nowadays have these cash register systems? These allow your business to get paid in up to 10 different ways. Getting one of these isn't difficult. You'll just set up a merchant account with a company like Square. They'll give you access to their invoicing system and all their tools, which you can use to send out estimates and you can bill your customers. And then you can also order a POS system for your gift basket business. They'll ship it directly to you and usually under a week. Next, you'll want to outline your gift basket pricing. This could include various sizing, wrapping styles, and the actual products that you're going to put in each one. Call around and do your research online to create your own competitive pricing. 
And once you get the pricings all together, get your logo and your gift basket branding done right away. I like to use 99designs and they'll do your logos, your flyers, your banners, your signage, your price list, your social media, and even your email marketing designs. You can create a design contest or you can work one-on-one -on -one with a designer and I guarantee either way, you won't be disappointed. After you've identified what your brand's look and feel is, you're gonna need to get a website created. Find and register your website name with a company like Bluehost pay for a website hosting plan, and they'll email you login credentials. Just save this information and find a website designer on Fiverr. Most of their people will design a high-end gift basket website for you at an affordable price, fully customized in under three days. Keep this in mind. Many gift basket owners start off doing a lot of this work by themselves. If the word starts spreading quickly, you'll actually have much more customers than you can handle. So if you want to make the most money out of your business, make sure you budget some funds for hiring at least two to three part-time employees to help with the gift basket creation and some people to help do customer service. Choose people who have experience speaking well, people who have great customer service skills, and remember, you as the business owner should be providing each employee with a handbook and training for how your company works. This will help avoid any issues with your staff showing up late, calling out, or making customers wait too long to pick up their baskets. This kind of stuff can ruin your brand's reputation. Okay, so now that you're all set up, how will you actually make money? Here's what you need to know in order to take a check to the bank. Now it's time to start promoting your gift basket business. You can start off by picking up the phone or making a visit to introduce your business to other local businesses. Attend networking events, hand out your business cards, and make sure that your business is listed on Google. It also won't hurt to get to know your chamber of commerce, start a paid lead generation campaign, or list your business online in directories like Yelp or Thumbtack. On average, you'll make anywhere from around $4,500 plus per month. However, gift basket companies that are located in busy areas and provide promotional discounts to new and returning customers often gross around $10,000 plus per month. So a small gift basket business could generate around $120,000 a year easily. How inspiring is that, right? Now I know what you're probably wondering, what's the price tag on this baby? Startup costs for this kind of business are usually from anywhere around $5,000 to $15,000 on average. And remember, dreams don't work unless you do. You got the victory and you can do this. Now's the time to create the gift basket business that you've always wanted and make a positive impact in your community. I'm also giving away my new marketing strategy book series for free. If you want it, just go to my website and turn your email address and I'll send it to you right away. Tag a friend, hit like, and please give it a share. And until next time guys, take care.